This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Are you looking for that last card to complete your deck or you want to start your adventure and you don't have any TCGO codes? This is the website to start. You can go to PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off your next order and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website ranging from uh, the latest booster packs like Battle Styles, they have uh, Dragapult codes, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, you name it. Be sure to check it out on PotownStore.com. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day to get rid of my bulk and you can buy some uh, sweet deals uh, from people all across Europe. I love the website. Be sure to check out the affiliate link in the description. You're gonna be helping me out. And uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm hyped. Hopefully you guys are hyped as well. Peace. What's up you two, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG live stream on my channel. Today we're gonna be playing our last couple of player cup keys and I'm very excited. I actually have to put down our uh, reputation points on the screen so uh, you guys know what's going on. So we're just gonna be entering one of the tourneys instantly. Let's go and uh, see how we go from there. So uh, let's just check out uh, current sub count is uh, going pretty well. We're at 30,000 subscribers and even like 200 additional uh, people here. So Thank you very much for being part of my community. Uh, the Pokemon community is awesome. And uh, I'm actually gonna be putting down our reputation points right now. So uh, rep, rep points, 104 keys left, five. So uh, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, we are seeing uh, Ramian here, Chio, Coop, uh, VWJ, Lejeux. Uh, video set about Piton. So well uh, lots of uh, familiar faces already. Uh, yeah, let's just put that over here Put it all a little bit over here. Yeah, it's fine. So we have 104 reputation points. We have about five keys left So uh, this is the journey here uh, PRG uh, edits. Thanks for joining the stream I do remember people uh, that have been on the stream before we are waiting for some people to join and uh, also, I should, yeah, uh, man, waiting his stream makes me hype. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Still need some people to join into the tournament key pot. And uh, we should be uh, going pretty well from there on out. Uh, what decks that we already played? We played Mad Party a little bit. We played Bosafalon a little bit. And uh, now we actually are on the ADP hype train. So that's very hilarious. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Also, Luke Metal saw a huge huge increase in play uh, these last couple of weeks so uh, we'll see how it goes though <laughs> so uh, let's just go and uh, play some games shall we so uh, we are here playing one of our tournament keys we're up against a water deck I don't know how we should feel about that <laughs> like the video you guys yeah also if you guys would uh, want to support the channel that's the best way to do it just destroy the hell out of the like button and uh, you'll be doing me quite a favor we always want to go first with an ADP deck and uh, we already got a lot of tournament rep already so uh, I'm very glad about that so we probably will qualify and these are the last couple of keys Lore 461 also joining in right now we'll see how it goes though we'll see how it goes okay so uh, opponent is playing a water deck still don't know what he is playing if you're enjoying the content, be sure to demolish that like button. <laughs> and uh, let's just go. I wish Players Cup was open for juniors and seniors. Yeah, I wish so as well. And also, I... Uh, yeah, well, don't know... <laughs> hey, this guy is playing Waylord of all things. That is pretty damn interesting. Uh, I wonder what we should do here. And this guy is probably going to be slapping huge damage with Waylord. That's kind of meme-y. Uh, really want to be drawing some cards. Only drawing one is very, very bad. But this guy is not going to be able to attack on the first turn anyhow. So I think I will just go for an Intrepid Sword here. It's not... Yeah, not slapping down any... <laughs> what is this? What's going on here? Look at our hand. Look at our hand. What is that? <laughs> what is this? At least we have some research left. And also, uh... Yeah, this guy is playing Galarian Dermanitan as well. Okay, pretty interesting. We can go for, uh, yeah, this guy's not working with anything, so it seems let's just go for Crushing Hammer first. Yeah, we do hit for Weakness here, so that's actually very, very nice. We can also just go for Cherish Ball, seeing as he doesn't have anything. Uh, all of our ADP is priced. Well, that's super hilarious, is it now? We can go for a Classic Dene. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. I don't, know, even, don't even know what he has in hand. 
don't even know what he has in hand. Yeah, if we slap down Mawile, yeah, it's not gonna be bothering us too much here to see what he has. Let's check it out. <laughs> wow, this guy has a horrendous hand, that's for sure. So in that situation, it's just fine attaching onto the Zacian, just gonna go overboard and uh, going for a research, I guess. What country are you from? Um, I'm from Europe, just so you know. We're also gonna slap this down. And uh, yeah, I'm just comfortable going for a good classic Intrepid Sword over here. And uh, yeah, we did lose a couple of resources, but he has Melolana and uh, some weird stuff in hand. <laughs> ADP! ADP is here. Uh, attachment onto the Dermanitan and a Marnie. Well, he did have Marnie. Interesting. Pretty damn interesting. Okay, what do we get right now? A Saucer. Not actually what we needed, but... Uh, yeah, definitely not what we needed here. Quillfish, what? Frost moth in the house? Frost moth in the house. Okay, this Waylord is getting me uh, scared just a little bit. How much damage is he able to do? Like, for real. We have a Marnie again. So before we Marnie, we might just scout his hand again with a Mawal. Seems like a nice idea to me. Yeah, we can scout his hand once again. We can keep scouting his hand before before he's able to do anything. Let's see here. Okay, this guy. Oh, Pokemon Center lady. What is this madness? I'm not gonna go for Marnie, that's for sure. Just gonna try and, and, and get some cards with Crobat. Yeah. Oh yeah, Crobat is uh, in the discard pal. Yeah, might as well get another Zacian up on board. For the memes of it. Yeah, we're giving up away all of our uh, Metal Saucers here. <laughs> How many rep points do you need to qualify? I think we already qualified here, which is pretty damn nice. Let's just take this metal energy, expose of this Galarian Dermanitan, and we should be good from there on out. This guy doesn't seem to have anything in hand, so we're just gonna go for Air Balloon, and uh, let's just dispose of this guy. Get out of here! Also, if you guys noted, uh, this is uh, true, truly live, so uh, it's not with a delay. So uh, because we're already qualified, just wanna give you guys this, the gameplay instantly. And uh, all of our ADPs are priced in this game. Can you believe it? Can you freaking believe it? Double Mawal. Draw up. Ooh, he's gonna draw himself up. Insane. Insane. Okay, what to do here is we could gust this guy up. Get some sort of... Uh... This guy is pretty uh, scary though. Okay, we're gonna be attaching to the Mawile here because that's a very nice attacker as well. We're going to be... Yeah, we could rope. But we also have Bob, by the way, so it's not a big issue at all. If we, I don't even know if he has an energy or not. Yeah, we are slapping not enough damage, unfortunately. I wonder what we are gonna do here. First of all, we are gonna retreat so we can reset the attack effect. Yeah, seems like a nice idea. <laughs> Next up, we are going to go for... Uh, this guy is weak to that. We can actually knock this guy out, but then this fella is going to activate out of nowhere. This only is a 2 prizer, so I'm a little bit concerned that he will get an attack off. For that purpose, we might as well just gust up this guy and knock him out. Ah, Interesting stuff. We're going to go for uh, the rope here. If we slap some damage onto Waylord, it will not matter too much because Mawal's gonna be doing some stuff. Yo, he gives up on his Dretna. Interesting. Gives up on his Dretna. Should we go after this Waylord? Probably. That's his only attacker, right? But if we knock this guy out, if he goes for the Dene, it's also gonna be a nice shot for us. Interesting, right? Should we knock it out? We get ADP instantly, so. Not too bad, right? But this guy is able to get huge damage. I'm actually gonna go and gust this guy up. Yeah, seems like a, a nice idea to me. Let's go for the Brave Blade. We only slapped 230, but with so many bench Pokemon, this guy is gonna be able to do some stuff. And I don't even know if he's gonna be able to flip two heads out of an Ocean Waves. There's Kadex well, so no other weird stuff going here. He does have his energy, so we'll see how lucky he is. Pokemon Center Lady, healing 60. Ocean Waves. Okay. He did, he did, he was able to knock out our station. That's crazy. Utterly crazy. Okay. And now that is a very bad idea. Very, very bad idea. 
Mm, what to do here? We could poke a little bit or we can just make sure we can get it next time. I don't even know if he's playing Balsasaurus, but that uh, healing option was very good though. Oh, this is insane. Insanity for real. We're gonna go for energy switch. Tutization. We're gonna be going for quick ball. Get rid of this. What else do we have? Our ADPs are priced. That's pretty damn funky. Pretty damn funky. So uh, yeah, not a lot we can do here. Not a lot we can do here. I'm just gonna go for research. Need to get into those energies very, very quickly. Okay, attach, and then next turn we'll do some madness. Cherish ball for nothing. That's something we know. Quick ball away this. And uh, yeah, it's all gonna have to come down to this scenario. Intrepid sword. Okay, <laughs> water energy. Ah oh, man. Why did yeah we did know that he had the healing option so maybe knocking out that dreadnought would have been better. We'll see if he has luck this time around. He needs two heads again. Two heads again. What are we doing? Congratulations. Okay, this guy's healing up as to be expected. But then we knock him out with Zation, which is totally awesome. Heads, heads, heads. Oh, this guy. This guy is going crazy. Yeah, what now? What now? I think a, a Marty play could be nice. Crushing hammers. Whoosh. Yeah, all the ha all the heads on the hammers. Crazy. Ah, I don't even need more stuff here. A rusted sword for the memes of it. We do have bosses orders. We really need to be drawing into uh, Marty. Will probably not matter because he only has a few amount of cards left in hand. Let's just go for. Crushing hammer again. Well, all the hammers work in this match. This is insane. We still have a Dedane left. No, we do not. Let's just go for that Dedane. Activation. Okay, go for this. Let's go for... What else do we have left in deck, by the way? Another metal energy. We have energy spinners and switches and all that. So, seems interesting to me. So, we could attach... Half energy switch as well. This water energy probably will not matter too much here. Let's go, Brave Plate. And uh, if he has all the good stuff, he can probably knock us out. We'll see what he has. But this is a strange Waylord healing deck. Oh, the sauce are super huge. And all of our ADPs were priced. Also, by the way, Pikamon, thanks for the congratulation wishes. Much love. There's a Capacious Buck. What is this guy able to do? Is Dreadnought able to KO us? What is the damage output of a Dreadnought V Max? He still needs to get out of the active as well. And he still needs to have lots of energies. But he has the Capacious Bucket here. There's the Cynthia Catlin coming along. Getting rid of Empoleon of all things. Yo. He's drawing lots of cards. We could still lose this, by the way. Cursing Hammer. Utterly broken. Utterly broken. Attachment onto the Dreadnought of all things. Frost mod onto them as well. And now we are in a, quite the predicament. We can go for Alter Creation. Like, we have an energy switch left and we have a switch left, so that could be interesting. Okay, this guy is gonna go on the offensive. Does he have the VMAX? Powerful Bite for 130. We cannot retreat. We cannot retreat. Saucer. Attach of the turn. Quick ball. Oh, crushing hammer. Yeah, we have everything in the deck, so uh, energy switch. Well, this was a strange game. I am very confused of all my ADPs being priced, but uh, we did manage to get the W here. So, uh, yeah. Oof. Oh no, we didn't. Just because. Yo! I forgot, this guy has the solid shell. Ooh, super well played. He deserves the well played. What am I doing here? I'm just checking out the chat way too much here. Wow. <laughs> what, what strange scenarios were that? For real. All the ADPs being priced definitely hurt. <laughs> Yo, congrats for qualifying again. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, so we lost against some weird deck. We have about four keys left, 104 points. And uh, we still need to just make sure we don't check out the chat too much here. 
before uh, the next game starts. Well, that was very strange, right? We decked ourselves out, so uh, if he did get the VMAX, he, he could have... Yeah, maybe we should have waited a turn. But on the other hand, our ADPs were priced. What are the chances? Like, both ADPs priced? Yeah, <laughs> F, I know. You're playing a game and both ADPs are priced, and then you have to, like, research away uh, two saucers. That's not how you win. Yeah, it's a luck game. What was that? Flipping all heads, opponent, and uh, we'll see how this game goes, though. I want the coin flip. Gonna go first? Yeah, definitely gonna go first. Always go first with this deck. How many people can qualify? Uh, it's the top 256 of a region, so... Uh, Right now we're doing pretty good, we have about 4 keys left, we have 104 reputation points. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful time. If you are, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of that like button. In this situation, this calls for desperate measures, right? Cherish Bow. I'm actually gonna go for uh, instant Dedenne here. Let's freaking do this. Getting rid of all this. What do we get in return? Crushing Hammer. <laughs> Crushing hammer is pretty interesting. Quick ball. Let's get rid of one hammer. Getting an 80 freaking P. ADP. Attack of turn. And an intrepid. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's an, <laughs> definitely an option. I was not thinking straight. Could have switched into the Danny retreat. Yeah. Definitely. I was not thinking straight. This is uh, the first couple of games after a long day, so. But both my ADPs being priced, that definitely hurt real bad. It's It's been a while since that happened, but I'd rather happen it right now than in um, other games. So I'm actually gonna have to note this down because we will be making a video about our qualification very shortly. So uh, let's just put that down as lucky Waylord build, getting the victory out of us, Waylord. And now we're up against ADP, ADP against ADP, that's how it is today. 50 people already in here, just sharing a little bit on the social media platform so we can get some more people in here. Let's make this uh, a fun stream, fellas. Let's make this a fun stream. Okay, he gets out his Dedenne, he already... Oh, he's playing Cobalion of all things, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, people will be very surprised at that, that Wailer deck actually was able to get the upper hand. We'll see what he does, this opponent. Okay, here comes the Quick Ball. Getting rid of a boss. There's the Crobat. He already has a lot of two prizers on the bench, which is something I do love to see. Quality content right here. <laughs> I know, great catcher, this one. Crobat. What's going on here, huh? Four quick balls have been used already. It's insane. This guy's playing all. Ooh, energy spinner. That's super scary. Does he have any uh, other ways? Can get some stuff going. Water energy onto ADP. Busted. He already drew a lot of cards here. It's insane. I wonder if he's gonna have it or not. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, hopefully you guys are gonna have a wonderful weekend. We are just uh, playing Last of All Keys just to have some fun here. Opponent having... An Intrepid Sword, that's totally nice. That's totally nice. Okay, we need to find our water type energy. Energy switch, <laughs> not needing that right now. So switch. Hammer, it's hammer time. We have a heads on the hammer. Busted. What else do we need? We can Marnie. Probably Marnie is better with a hand size like that. We also slowed him down and we still have access to another Dedenne or a Crobat, so. Probably, I'm actually gonna go for like Quick Ball, get rid of this, go for a Crobat and then for a Marnie. Yo, we don't have any of them. We don't have any of them. Could snap down a little Mao Wow. What does he have in hand? Energies, energy switch. 
Yeah, he needs to research away that hand. That would be super huge. Okay, in that situation, let's go for research. His hand is not going to be doing too much here. We have a saucer. A crushing hammer as well. Not going to be doing too much here, as it seems. Still not getting our ultra creation off. Still have the hammer as well. Yo. Quick ball Eldegoss is an option, but I really want to save my Eldegoss here. Yeah. Sad stuff. Ooh, the double energies though. Look at that. Everybody's set up. So in this situation, there's a couple of routes we can go for. We can just take all the prize cards manually or try to find our water energy. He needs to actually like snap down. There's two water energy in this discard pile, right? Yeah. He needs to like research all the way his metal energies. That would be insane. How many saucers in here? One, only one saucer though. Only one saucer. These are strange games for sure. I have a recommendation for you if you are getting stuck with ADPZ. Double is great for uh, an alternate attacker. You can use all energies, has big damage output, good retreat cost. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Okay, he gives us an ADP. He gives us an ADP. Interesting. What to do here? Another saucer, crazy. Another saucer, well, in that situation, quick bolt. Yeah, I think we will go for alter creation here. It seems like the best bet to me. Let's take this one. Hammer time. Nothing works. Okay, fine. Research. Here we go. Water energy. How many switches in his discard pile? Doesn't matter too much here, I guess. Here we go. Altered creation. GX. Hi, Mr. Zapdos TCG. Thanks, Fernando. Ela. Uh, uh, Alia. Velos, I think I pronounced that good. I don't know. Thanks for joining the stream. We're having some fun here qualifying for Players Cup 4. And the uh, opponent is just gonna go for the boss mechanic. As to be expected here. Yeah, nothing much going around here. Let's knock this guy out with This. We knock that out with Jization. Then we also can go for Marnie. We have Quick Bull and all that good stuff in hand though. We have everything in hand to win next turn, but I don't know what the, the opponent has in, uh, in store for us though. Maybe we put an air balloon on here. We do take three prize cards. That could be pretty huge though. Yeah, let's just Marnie. Probably will not have anything. He needs like saucer saucer switch. Ta -ta. Let's slap down the swell. Energy spinner for the memes of it. Taking one more energy. Ah, well, might as well go for the hammers here. Hammer fails, but it's fine. Let's just knock out the station. <laughs> the double Mawal spice. I know. What do we get? A cherry bowl. What do we get? The Dane. Hey, what do we get? Well, so much draw consistency were in the prize cards. It's insane. Utterly broken. And we are totally live, so uh, no hand block or no anything. So maybe we could be doing a little bit better, but it's fine. The only thing we need to do is like find Eldegoss so we can boss the Crobat. Or find... Yeah, he's gonna be attacking with the Zacian. Yeah, Zation on the move. Bam. So we have some slots. We can actually slap down three Pokemon right now. We can go for Crobat, Dedenne, and then Aldegoss. The only thing we need to find is boss's orders, and we can draw our entire deck. So it seems easy. Let's go. <laughs> Research. Research is escape rope. It's not what we need. Cherish Ball for nothing. Next up. 
Crobat. Drawing two cards. Well, that's not what we need. Did I? Uh, get rid of everything. There's a quick ball. Salsar Salsar as well. Rusted, rusted Sword too. Well, even the, the, the raw boss in the hand. It's insane. So let us take down this fella. Retreat and declare. Well played. Well, that was interesting. We acquired another point. Yeah, this is okay. We still have the escape rope as well. We still had the escape rope as well. So, uh, keys left for reputation going to 105. Ladies and gentlemen, 105. There we go. Woo! We did it. So, uh, another point. So, uh, our loss against that weird Whaler deck was just because I was not quite awake just yet. <laughs> And I wonder if we should play some more games with other decks. The reason why we're playing this deck is that this deck doesn't have an insta loss. If you play ADP, you don't have an insta loss. Now, with decks like Mad Party, if you're up against Dracopil VMAX, if you're up against Orbital, you have insta losses, which is something I don't like with this format. It's some sort of like a, a format with lots of unfavorable matchups which is something I really despise, to be honest. But also, in the, the future, if you have an unfavorable matchup, for instance, against Eternus, you can just snap yourself, slap a, uh, a Galarian Zapdos into your deck, and you should be okay. You should be okay. Also, if you guys are a fan of the channel and the daily Pokemon TCG uploads, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of that like button. It helps in many, many ways. More ways than possible. Hello, Juicy MegJ, thanks for joining. We are uh, here on the Friday stream. It's not gonna be a, a shorter stream because I still need to go out to eat, which is awesome. And uh, right now we're just playing some of our uh, keys, our last couple of keys, to be honest. Only four keys left, 105 points. We uh, derped out a little bit, but it's totally fine. <laughs> Almost 50K. Yeah, 50,000 subscribers would be insane. So I'm actually gonna be noting that down. So we were up against ADPZ, we won and uh, we got one point. So I'm actually noting that down because I'm gonna be making a video about how I qualified for Players' Cup 4. People want to see that, people are very interested. One point there. There we go. So I'm also gonna be giving away some TCGO code cards. How are you dealing with the CGI? We're not playing uh, Aegislash, we just try to hope and uh, two Mawals could also work out to be honest. You can just play Mawal on the turn where you try to boss something and if they have a huge hand size uh, you can actually get them uh, off guard which is awesome uh, what else if you want to be playing the Aegis Lash that's fine but Aegis Lash is not necessary in the meta for because the Shijuai uh, gets slapped around with Phoebe's a lot of decks are playing Phoebe right now and uh, because of that hi Urshifu single strike is a good deck it's a tier 2 deck not the best in the world sometimes has consistency issues but it's an okay-ish deck I'm also going to be giving away some TCGO codes. Let's see here. Thanks to PoTownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Uh, that's for card market and, uh, and PoTown Store. You can actually buy TCGO codes, 5% off using the Zabdos TCG code. So if you're looking for TCGO codes, PoTown Store is the place to be. If you're looking for physical product and if you're a European player, card market is the best website for you. So for now, let's slap uh, TG Joe codes up on screen. Two of them. Don't claim uh, both of them. Let everybody has a shot at this. That's what we need. Hi, Zapdos. I uh, love the videos. I'm a, a nerd for this game and have many cards and really good decks. If you would like to battle sometime, willing to wager. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. We're going to be doing some more subscriber battles very shortly. Hi, I was right. You are streaming after all. Yeah, I'm streaming my last couple of keys. We have four left. Which should be okay, right? We have 105 points. We think we're at the top 16 in Europe right now. I really think so. What are we playing? We are playing this garbage. <laughs> and actually, we start the stream and both our ADPs were priced. How insane is that? But if that happens, you don't always lose. You, Yeah, it happens from time to time. Okay, and uh, let me know. What decks are you playing for the Players' Cup 4 qualification rounds? I'm very curious to hear your opinion. Your opinion down below. So uh, one Rusted Sword seems to be enough. There's still too many VMAXs in format. So one Rusted Sword is just for the tag team matchup. So uh, Zacian slapping to 90. People are tacking in Galarian Zigzagoon to slap for 300. 
against Galaxy Mewtwo, but with two Mawiles, Galaxy Mewtwo is not a big issue at all. And also we're playing uh, this uh, <laughs> flippy coin. No, you should play Blounds OP. Blounds OP. Yeah, this is a strange Mewtwo Blacephalon build with a small Mewtwo package in there. <laughs> Ninetales V. Ninetales V. Yeah, we have made a lot of decks. This is probably the uh, list I would play. If, if I'm playing Blounds, this is the list I'm playing. Still don't know what I'm playing in the, the next round. Actually, Phase 2. Phase 2 probably will be in beginning of June. So that is going to be interesting. Definitely going to be live streaming that entire event. It's going to be awesome. Hopefully, guys will be there on the road with me. I was able to pull 700 damage with a Delmice deck. Oof. Delmice. Certain decks are better than others, that's for sure. Believe me, Ninetales V is good, working on it. Yeah, you can weld onto it and copy attacks, but the problem is, it's probably in my counter box deck here. Let's just scout that out real quick. Counter box. ADP without hammer? Nah, ADP without hammer is not ADP. <laughs> you need to be as annoying as possible. So, uh, Ninetales is not part of this deck, but could have been part of this deck. Let's see here. Ninetales. I'm gonna tell you what the problem is with Ninetales. First of all, look at the format we're in right now. Uh, Ninetales, if you want to copy Dread End of how much time do we get, have to get these uh, keys. If you don't have them in your account, you are not able to qualify for Players Cup 4, that's for sure. So uh, you need to have your TCGO account linked to your player ID. You can do that by logging into Pokemon.com. That's the best uh, way to do it. And then uh, when Players Cup 5 comes around, you are going to be able to uh, have keys in your account. For now, if that ha didn't happen before the 26th of April, you're probably not going to get keys anyhow. So uh, you have to wait for another Players Cup to get announced. But be sure to link your player uh, ID to your yeah, TCGO account. As I was saying, Nine-Tailed Shapeshifter is nice. But uh, I think it only copies G-Max Rapid Flow. If you, you can, if you copy Dread End, that's only working for Darkness Pokemon. If you copy stuff like um, Alter Creation, you need that additional Water Energy. So, yeah, uh, Nine Tails. If you want to copy Full Blitz, you can accelerate Lightning Energies, but those are not in the deck. So, it could become bonkers, but not right now. Not right now. Let's see what how the tournament has developed. Yo, we are beginning in 10 seconds. It's like I knew it. It's like I knew it. Come on. What are the people playing? I wonder. Okay, we're up against a girl. If a girl uh, is uh, going to be beating my <laughs> beating me, uh, might as well be a girl. Well, let's see. Tails never fails. No. What's up, YouTube? Greetings from Mexico. Rafael Cuenzada Miranda. Yo, that's a mouthful. Crazy. I think I pronounced it correctly, though. Rafael Cuenzada. Cuenzada, yeah. I think it's like that. Oh, it's Urshi Pult. Hey, Floku, it's your deck. Legend of Flow is also playing a deck like this. Double the Zation, double the Hammer, double the Fun. Okay, in this situation, I will get rid of one Zation. We don't need multiple Zations. Uh, I will. He already starts with a weak Pokemon anyhow, so we're just gonna get this. Scouting real quick how many we have. This is a great hand if he attaches to anywhere because we have a 75% chance of landing at least one head. And here comes the Interrupted Sword, getting ourselves the other energy. Oh, it's busted. Greetings from Indonesia. Okay, where are you people from? I see people from Indonesia, from Belgium, from America. Oh, he's playing Hammers. Okay, now we are in a predicament. Didn't even know he's playing hammers, but if it's like that, it's gonna be the hammer game. Okay. If he likes to play like that, we're gonna be pl playing it like that. Karina's focus. <laughs> Good luck, Zados. Greens from Indonesia. So, more people from Indonesia. Crazy. Oh, not even a touch of the turn, huh? Well, this time around, we're just taking a little metal energy because I don't trust this guy. Let's go for. We could go for Marnie Place. He didn't attach anyhow, so let's just put an air balloon on here. Also, he didn't attach any energy, so we don't even need to Marnie, but it's gonna be the best shot of drawing into more energies. Yeah, more energies. That's what we need. Ta ta. Yo, this is the rusted sword right here. 
The only thing we need is the water type energy. We can make it happen with the Dene, but slapping down the Dene in this matchup is very bad. So we're not doing it. Okay, here's the energy sweat, energy spinner. Let's go. Okay, this time around, if he still has hammers, it's gonna be hammer war. Greens from Italy, the Czech Republic, Germany, France, uh, Europe is coming together here. And there's a resurge. Okay. We had our hammers, they're on the bottom of the deck, we don't mind. Because we will have the <laughs> Ooh, power plant as well. Power plant might make this a little bit tricky. Let's go for energy spinner. He's gonna say like, what? You have the energy spinner in hand after that Marnie? That's ridiculous. Let's go with this. Really wanna be drawing. Oh, that power plant is pretty damn annoying. Rusted sword. Keeping all these cards in the list might be a little bit funky. Let's just go for a Marnie play again. And hopefully get ourselves some good cards. Okay. Let's go. Portugal. Awesome. Let's retreat. Let's go for Cherry Ball. Yo. 80 freaking P. We still have our hammers left. Let's see. We have the swell. That uh, power plant's pretty damn annoying. But nothing we can handle. Altered creation. G freaking X. Greens from Transylvania. Transylvania. Okay. Insane. <laughs> you like the Mawel after Marnie. Yeah, that's our crazy place. We are playing a higher amount of Marnie in our list. So we keep Marnie. So hopefully the opponent doesn't have anything to work with. And we can go from there on out. Okay, he comes. Here he comes. Max Phantom. Ow. That does hurt a little bit. Okay, we have energy switches and all that. Interesting stuff. Water energy here. So yeah, in this situation, I don't even know what to do. We can attach to Mawal. We need multiple attackers, right? We need multiple. If we slap down ADP, it's not gonna be attacking because we don't have any water energies left. That's for sure. Let's just go for ultimate ray here. Let's go. We still have energy switch as well. All the energies, or not all the energies. We do draw a lot of prize cards next turn, so I think. Unless he slaps with the Urshifu again. He's just gonna go for two energy. He's not gonna go too crazy. Okay, now he can knock us out and we can knock him out. That's how the game goes. Oh, he has Korea? Really? Okay. Crushing hammers again. We do take four prize cards from that Dracapult. Max Phantom again. Well, would you look at that? 120, the perfect numbers here. The perfect numbers. We have hammers. Hammer time. <laughs> ah, the hammer fails. It's super bad. Yeah, in this situation, I think we really need to slap down this or we lose. Do we have another Mawal left? Yeah, we do. Yeah, let's just... Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. That is 100 damage. Not enough, unfortunately. Brave Blake. Yeah, the G-Max Rapid Flow is a little bit scary. We will lose a lot of energies here, but we still have lots of Saucer. If we only were, were to draw like a lot of great cards, that would be nice. Saucer, Saucer, what else? Energy. And? <laughs> well, okay. We can uh, get ourselves a Zacian if we find a Quick Ball. Three Quick Balls left. Marnie, okay. Will we please draw Chaotic Swell so we can get ourselves out of this mess? This power plant sticking on the board is pretty damn bad. Crushing hammer as well. Well. Yeah, here comes the Urshi. The Gale Trust activation. 
Okay, and if he has boss doors, he can actually go for some good stuff. But we have hammer, so we'll see how it goes. Double the cherish ball. So cherish ball. We have a Mawal. I really let's just take this this one. This one. Let's get rid of this. Still has a two prize on his bench, so the Mawal's pretty useless, although. <sighs> yeah. This is uh, not too bad anymore. Here we go, crushing hammer party. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Hmm. Crow badge. Hammer again. Okay. Come on, chaotic swell. Activation. No codex, but well, we do have a Zation though. If we are able to just hang on for a little bit, we should be okay. Unless he has like switch and boss in hand and energy. Hmm, interesting stuff. Sword! Ooh, the swell is here. The swell is here. What do we need? Saucer, saucer, saucer. Saucer, saucer, attach boss. Not a lot I'm asking for, right? Switch, attach, boss, right? Oh, Marnie. We had the swell in hand. No. Now the swell is on the bottom of the deck. Maybe we draw research, though. Yeah, we do draw research. Oh, we need some more hammers to just slow this guy down. The Gale Trust. Oof, saucer. Saucer, we have the escape rope as well, by the way. Sword. Escape rope, escape rope. Still not what we need. But he has the G-Max rapid flow and there's nothing we can do about it. You just need to attach one energy and he's done for. Ah, dang it. We have Eldegoss for boss. Or no, we do not. Uh, scary stuff. We need to like switch to this guy for sure. If he has an energy, he wins. If not, we could potentially still win. <sighs> yeah. Mm hmm. Interesting things, right? Yeah, he probably has an energy. We don't have Mew, so we cannot protect ourselves with Mew. We can poke damage with the Zation. Yeah, I'm not gonna poke damage with Zation. Yeah. That's what we needed, to be honest. <laughs> that little card over here. Does he have energies left? Boss? Yeah, he doesn't even. Yeah, he just has a boss. Dang it. No rope for us. No rope for us. It's okay. Sometimes it happens. It happens. Yeah, that power plant really stuck on board, did it? No rope for us. Keys. <laughs> Galarian Berserker. Stunfisk hardly sees play nowadays. When I played, started playing TCGO, they were kind of staple in every metal deck. Yeah, those uh, Stunfisk were for the the CGY matchup, but now people have grabbed to AB Slash instead. Yeah, that power plant, power plant was horrendous. It was horrendous. Oh boy, so these last couple of keys are not going too well, but luckily we are still qualified, so it's still awesome. I think 105 definitely gets us there, like 256. And we still have time as well, so... Yeah, that power plan was very, very bad. It actually slowed us down immensely, 
Otherwise, this matchup would have been pretty okay because we play hammers. Also didn't play down the Dennis because he can easily gust them up with Gale Trust. But the problem was he was playing hammers himself. So uh, getting rid of our water energy slowed us down one turn, which meant we didn't get the game. If we drew into escape rope or a research to find escape rope or something, probably would have got there, gotten there. But we are playing without any stream delay and without a, a hand blocker. So people can just yeah check it out if they want to. People can just check it out if they want to. Also, how do you guys feel about the new Pokemon Snap? I uh, played, I think, one hour of it, and uh, I'm liking it so far. I'm only playing one swell, and it went to the bottom of the deck thanks to that Marnie. Okay, we lost the coin flip. Who is this person? Only we would have played more swell, so the power plants cannot stick. But yeah, we don't have the room for it. We're playing too mile well, so we'll see how that goes. Tishi Geo decides to give us the only two count in the deck instantly. <laughs> only when you played him. Yeah, hammers are OP only when we played him. That's that's the way it is. Well, hello. Why do we get this? What is the opponent playing? They have a black Kyurem deck box. And they have four Pokemon on their bench. Wow. Insane. It's Dracapult. And we start off with this horrendous monster. The Danny as well. Okay, another uh, Urshipult. Tower of Waters. Okay. Uh, yeah, first of all, let's scout a little bit. Nothing in hand. He's probably gonna Marnie, so uh, it's pretty damn interesting. Air Balloon here. Do we slam down the Danny or not? Nah. Okay, Air Balloon here. Energy Spinner. Triple Metal Energy and Discard. He, does have, he has a bad hand, so we are gonna go for Research instead of Marnie. We have a Mawel, so we can Saucer them on. Okay, interesting. A hammer as well. Interesting stuff. Zation. Saucer. So we can let's see how this hammer goes though. It fails. We have one attachment. If we get multiple attachments, that would be perfect. So we can knock him out before he's able to uh, do anything. Let's get one one water energy in this card as well. <laughs> That's a strange scenario to be in. Two saucers, right? Still have a quick ball as well. If we go for alter creation, that could be nice. If we knock him out, hit instantly on the spot, that could also be nice. I'm gonna try and play something risky here. Do we have the Danny? Yeah, we don't have Crobat, so we need to draw into a saucer. That's super duper scary. A water energy. Yeah, water energy. Metal energy. Yeah, it seems okay to me. Okay. Let's go for this. This one. This one. And, uh, yeah. The Intrepid Sword. Activation. Yeah, starting with the Aldigo is pretty damn bad. That's for sure. I wonder if our tricky uh, yeah, scoop up and then communication, Dragapult VMAX. I wonder if our uh, tricky plays could have actually gotten us there. Like getting a saucer and knock him this guy out before he was able to evolve. Maybe should have gone for that play. Just maybe. Mm hmm. A Marnie play. Oh boy. Oh boy. Marnie plays. Oof, I love I love this hand to be honest. If we're gonna be able to get rid of everything, that would be nice. Rapid strike search. 
We don't even draw into a supporter or a cherish ball or a quick ball. So it's all gonna have to come down to this. Mm hmm. Where is he gonna spread around the damage counters? I'm very curious. All onto the ADP, huh? Oh, perfect play, perfect card here. Attach here, hammer, ta-ta! Yo, let's get rid of this before while we can. Hammers, ta-ta! <laughs> this guy's gonna hate me. This guy is going to hate me, that's for sure. And we finally draw some cards. Yeah! Retreat. Might as well snap down. I don't even know if he has another two prizer in hand. He did Marnie though. He did Marnie. Let's scout what is in hand. Oh, he's gonna research. Okay, fine. Okay, Elder Creation. And this Dragapult is a little bit stuck, which is awesome. Let's see what he does. Did you see those hammers? Crazy. Boss's orders onto the Eldegoss. This guy is able to poke it with Shred for 60. I presume. Everybody's playing Urshi Pulse, that's pretty funny. There's the Urshifu V Max. Is he gonna guilt trust it? Scoop up Nets. The Mimikyu. Slapping down the Mimikyu again. Crobat, okay, that's fine. That's what we wanted to see here. Slapping down two prize support Pokemon, all you want. A horror psychic energy and he's going to be shredding and knocking out Eldegoss. Which we don't care about too much. Shred. Poof. Yo. Bunkers. Okay. Moving forward. This. Energy here. Saucer. Boss's orders. And uh, yeah, let's freaking go. Ultimate Ray, Kacheka. Metal energy to this guy. Water energy to that guy. Let's go. Price cards. Cheka. Cheka. Lots of saucers, that's for sure. Communication coming. He potentially could stream snipe me. Potentially, but just a little bit. Ah, it's all, probably already too late, but <laughs> we'll see. Good hollow, so no Marnie. Okay. No Marnie whatsoever. Cool. Yeah, he's going to be attacking with the Dragapult and finishing it up later with Urshifu. Is there any uh, good Dark type deck in the meta except for Eternus? No, I think Eternus is the way to go. Telescopic Sight. Oof. That's turning into 150 snipes. Yo. This is getting scary. Yo, 180 on our ADP. And some damage onto the Zacian, okay. Attach. Saucer. We potentially could still lose this guy. 
This, he, this guy has 100 HP, right? So it's better to stick him in the active. Unless he has like a Melodama place, which I doubt. All right, there's uh, good things to see here. Good things to see here. Yeah, playing that for nothing. How many energy switches left? A lot. A lot of energy switches left. If we rope, we can slap something. We can also slap this guy, but then we're... We also have 100 HP remaining. Huh. Yeah, let's play the rope. I wonder who he's gonna give us. Octillery, huh? Well, Octillery. Yeah. Can't get knocked out by this guy. Also, don't want to be drawing into any of these if he potentially does something. Will he buy it? Maybe we leave him stuck in the active, but he has free retreat anyhow, so. Will he buy it? This guy cannot have Karate Bell, right? Can he still have it? He has Telescopic Sight, so. Huh. Interesting. One card. He could stamp us to one card, maybe. Because we have stamp in the list. We also are not able to heal with this uh, heal jamming Mimikyu. Attachment onto the Urshi. Bosses orders onto the ADP. And a max Phantom. So uh, that's pretty much game. Pretty much game. Cool deck, though. Pretty cool deck. Yeah, we boss the Mimikyu. Yeah. Well played. Kacha. <laughs> okay. So, that was a scary matchup. The hammers did work out for us, otherwise, this matchup would have been way more difficult. 106 points. 106 points broken okay now we wait for the next round okay 106 reputation points can we get another like five we have three keys with three keys what can you do with three keys 15 points can we get to one, uh, 120 that's the goal right if you guys are enjoying the content be sure to let me know it's easy easier than ever just smashing the hell out of the like button and then we party all day long because i'm very uh, very grateful for you guys to be here 100 people in here watching us playing some player cup keys 12 minutes left on clock and we need to give away some tcgo codes asap tcgo codes asap here we go Ta-da! Oh boy. Spirit Tomb is pretty good in my opinion. Oh yeah, that's also a one prize archetype uh, that is playing the darkness. Darkness Pokemon. I completely forgot about it. Yeah, Spirit Tomb. There's two dark decks, I guess. Let's see, Spirit Tomb. I think Icatropy is playing that a lot. You use Spirit Tomb, you use Hiding Dark Energies, Spike Mud. Transfer around your spirit tombs a lot and then go for huge damage with Anguish Cry. You also have Building Spite in between turns, which is pretty damn awesome. Eh, I don't know. How you guys feel about spirit tomb? I'll be back in two seconds.
All right. So uh, yeah, did anybody claim the codes? There were two available. Hopefully they're gone. Let you guys have some fun. Let me know what you got in those packs. We're waiting for the next round to start. And uh, we already have so much reputation points that I'm uh, seeing the future brightly. So that's already nice. And I wonder which deck we're gonna be playing up next. I think I want to be testing out. It's not about testing out, right? If I have 110 points, maybe we can test some more stuff out. Baby Blounts. Baby Blounts Pidgeotto. Baby Blounts Pidgeotto. Hmm. Yeah, that Dark Pugs deck. I think it was with uh, Dinos, Hydreigon, all that. Hmm, I don't know if this could be successful. The problem with it is that you only have 13 energies. So you have to make your Fireball Circus count. Hmm, there, there's two Dedani just because you can easily, maybe you can cut one Dedani for one Intrepid Swordization. Maybe. What else is great in today's meta is of course Rapid Strike Urshifu. A lot of people are playing that. We've seen the heal block Mimikyu. So Mimikyu has seen a lot of play. We've seen the shadow box Mimikyu, the heal block Mimikyu. <laughs> Thanks Tio Tan for uh, the kind wishes. We win another round. We got another point. We are almost set and done for Players Cup 4 and I still don't know what to play. We're just grinding with AP because on the versus ladder you don't know what to expect but actually on the uh, middle tournaments here what is the best deck in the format right now? Let me know. What do you guys think is the best deck in the format? Tilts never fails. That's what we see here. Okay, what is this guy playing? What is this guy playing? Okay, we have not the ideal start, that's for sure. Burp. Starting with the Ma wow. And he is playing. Weird stuff. Well, at least we have this. Could potentially go for research. Archie did I? I don't know. This is probably gonna be like. Could be like Rapid Strike Urshi or not. That's something I don't know. If we use this, we are gonna be losing a couple of cards. Yeah, let's just go to Turbo. Play Green Zard. This is the best deck in the format. Now, in this situation, I always want to scout out what is he playing. It is Rapid Strike Urshi. Okay, fine. Against Rapid Strike Urshi, I don't have any problems. Let's take that water energy while we can. Let's put that air balloon on here. Let's go for a quick ball onto this station. Let's get out 80 freaking P and go crazy. Let's go. Touch. And then trap it. And then, wow, bust it. Whatever he has, he's gonna go down. <laughs> If he attaches to the Urshi, his energy is gone. Any one prize decks post rotation, or are they killing them? They could be killing them. Decidueye is a great one prize deck. Cinderace in a format filled with Zations is a nice way. What else is good? And Talion is gonna be nice. Okay, there's the Urshi, Urshi Fu V. Stellar wishing. A communication. His hand didn't contain any energies, so he's probably gonna go and dig for energies. If he is doing that, we will get rid of that energy ASAP and go for research. So maybe he's doing another play. Switch to another Jirachi. Yeah, post rotation Spirit Tomb becomes illegal, so uh, research. Okay, no Dennis on his field, so he could go lone Urshi. Lone Urshi is scary though. Two Urshifus. Chilling it out. Stellar wishing. <laughs> Mad Party. Yeah, Mad Party is losing triple accelerator energy and it's losing the Danny GX. So we will talk about post rotation sooner or later on the channel. Don't worry about it. Scoop up net again. Okay. He's uh, doubting what to do. We have already played a lot of things out. Oh yeah, 
no hammers. Cherish ball could be interesting. Shuffling the deck a little bit. Yeah. Research. Getting rid of my hammers is painful. But we have another one. Okay. So uh, it's time for saucer time. Da -da 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 saucer. Saucer. Energy switch. From one to another. A retreat. And uh, in this hand, we could go for like a Marty play. That could be nice, right? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go for Alter Creation, shall we? Maybe he whips on switching out. He still didn't have any energies. Maybe he waited to attach energies, which would have been a little bit weird. I didn't know what is in his hand, but he cannot rely on the Danny or this guy is coming. Mad party, but <laughs> spirit tomb decks will turn into Taurus decks. Yeah, Taurus with uh, there was another card that does some similar things. You get rid of oof, this energy, insane. Is YouTube your full time job? No, I do another job. I actually work eight hours <laughs> already, so that's why we did some weird plays before. We actually are uh, programming pro programmer and uh, based on IT, so e commerce. Copac Latam is tomorrow. It's my first tournament. I chose Urshifu Rapid Strike. Any tips against other decks? Watch out for hammers. <laughs> Watch out for hammers and Giratina, presumably. Okay, what can we do here? If we top back an energy. Quick balls. He wasted a couple of communication already. He's playing the slow game. I don't know what's going on. Air balloon. Scoop up to another stellar wisher. Yeah, that spirit tomb is actually destroying, um, really wrecking at a mad party for sure. So uh, to the question, yeah, I also have a full-time job besides YouTube, which is uh, sometimes getting the better out of me, but it's okay. Okay, here comes the Rapid Strike Urshi giving us a smack in the face. Mm -hmm. What are some options? Guild Trust, he probably is playing Cheryl, which is super, super bad for us. Switch. Yeah, we can go for our slapping this guy down crushing hammer is pretty damn nice let's check that out first yeah okay perfect what else it's probably not gonna be going for that quick balling away this don't want to be like going too crazy here we have two boss two boss should that be enough If we knock out some of these fellas, it's gonna be nice. Maybe we rope. Rope, we definitely get a couple of prize cards, right? That's for sure. But also poking this guy would be nice. Let's just go for the Dane. We could rope. He promotes something. Either we take a KO or we don't. Let's go for rope, then the dining. Where can I see the deck you're using? Uh, I'm gonna showcase it very shortly. So he promotes Jirachi. We promote a free retreater. We go for the Danny GX. Got some lovely cards. Perfect. So we attach here. <laughs> yeah, we could have actually. Oh, this is interesting. So uh, attach here. Attaching here, energy switching from one to another, we retreat and we gust up this guy. Pa -pum. Okay, that was pretty nice. 
Ta -da! <laughs> the car we're getting is ridiculous. Okay, this ADP. Okay, what do we need? What do we need? There is a quick ball coming. There's another Urshi, so uh, two Urshis on the move. Attachment there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Research. Okay, what do we need to do? As a kid, do you like Pokemon? Of course. I grew up with Pokemon, I was six years old. Six years old, got Pokemon Red. And that's where all the magic stuff happened. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, our ADP is uh, looking pretty grim though. Great catcher, ooh. Ooh. Scooping up Jirachi. There is a little bit of an issue right now. Just a tiny little bit. Cherry ball. Taking the AP. Ah, crushing hammer. Ah, it fails. Now we're gonna be in trouble. Energy spinner. We take a water energy. Yeah, the G-Max rapid flow will come and we will get annihilated. We will get annihilated. These two will go down and we won't have a way. Yeah, we will need saucers and balls and all that. Maybe Crobat can draw, but I highly doubt it. I don't know if he has boss in hand though. No boss, he probably has boss in hand. Yeah. Let's retreat. Put that over here for the memes of it. And uh, yeah, he's probably gonna knock out both of these, if we're being honest. Another energy, okay. Oh boy. Yeah, this is super duper bad. We will be in a situation where he takes five prize cards. And the only way we can stop it is we draw into double saucers. Maybe we just need to find like Crobat or something. Stellar wishing. He's probably looking for the boss. The problem is, Marwell are not great attackers right now. Just because of him not having a full bench. Maybe a while for the late game would have been better to slap down more Pokemon on his bench. Still don't know if he has bosses orders or not. Martial Arts Dojo. If he doesn't, maybe we should have attached here, but we still don't have the boss either way. Oh, if he has a Zigzagoon, he can also knock this guy out. If he has a Scoop on that, that is. Switch. The G-Max Rapid Flow coming. Hey dude, it's Adam. What's up? What are you doing? How are, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty great. Probably qualify for Players Cup 4. Okay, he's gonna go for a great catcher and ADP is gonna get it. Great catcher, Dedene. Doesn't he have an energy? Maybe he whips on an energy, right? He gets rid of boss. That seems weird. Hmm. Yeah, I expect both of my fellas to see the discard right now. Why didn't you attach to the Mawal? Because Mawal is not enough to take this victory here. And I want to save my energies. I actually wanted to save that Metal Energy for the um, Zation in hand. So we'll see how... Oh, he has Scoop up that. Wow, broken. Research as well, okay. So Mawal is not doing anything today. 
Maybe he whiffs on an energy. That's the only thing we can hope for. Whiff on energy. No, nope. Hi, Rowan. Thanks for joining. G Max Rapid Flow. Look at both of our attackers seeing the discard pile. The only way we can save ourselves is drawing Crobat. And from that Crobat, we need like saucers. We, actually, we need Quick Ball to tin our hands. That's what we also need. This guy definitely has game. So we need Saucer, Saucer, Boss. Saucer, Saucer, Boss. That's insane. We have Switch. Yeah, that's just well played. That is well played. Nothing you can do about that. Okay. We got one point, though. We got one point. Yo. All the league broken. Okay, two keys left. These are the last keys of the bunch. Hopefully you guys are also qualified. I don't know if you guys are playing or not. Why do I always start with my well? I don't know. This is not a bad hand though. This is definitely not a bad hand. Okay. Quick ball, get rid of this. Getting ourselves. Oh, all the ADP surprised again. Perfect. All the ADP surprised again. <laughs> Why? Why does Tishi Joe keep doing this to me? This one. This one. Energy. Attach. Rope. Sword. Crobat first. Rope. Okay, not a lot to see here. You could still have saucer later, so for now, let's just go for. Huh. Good morning next turn. We have switch next turn as well. It all depends on what we got. All depends on what we got. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of a water energy and we will get ourselves a Dedenne. Just think, maybe we could just slap down a Mawal and just scout a little bit. We're probably gonna Marnie. Maybe we can cut down on the Scrobats instead. Let's just do that. Come on, do it. For one zigzag. Oh, this is a terrible hand. As he top deck something nice, we could still get this. Sword. Wow, busted. <laughs> oh, jeez. I know. I know. What now, huh? We have a Zation ready. Your hand sucks, so we don't Marnie. And we just go after you and knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. Bah. They just switch. They didn't do anything. We're not gonna Marty, that's for sure. This guy has a free retreat cost, the other one doesn't. So for now, it's gonna be switch. Station, knock him out. Okay, maybe we can dunk him. Maybe. What do we get? <laughs> it's fine, we can reset the attack effect. All we need is ADP from the prize, or we donk him. The Poke Party is seeing the worst hand of his life, probably. We rope switch KO, so uh, yeah. That's what Tishi Joe has come to. Boss's orders. Crobat. Crobat for one. Ooh. Funky. A crobat for one. Okay, let's do this. Rope. Who will he give us? Probably Eveltal, if I had to guess. <laughs> He's doubting. Okay, we can actually knock this guy out, but I'm gonna save our boss's orders for later. Or do we? We can still attach here. We have energy switch and all that good stuff. Brave Blade. We also didn't play any supporters just yet. This is a supporter 
a weird kind of vibe going for it. Where is our fella? <laughs> no! What's going on? Strange games. These are strange games, man. Yo, they concede. Woo! So we don't even need ADP. We don't even need ADP. We got some more points. 107. 107 points is not too bad. That was a strange game. I still don't know what happened. But because we won, we're gonna give away some TCGO codes for you guys. Ta ta! There we go. Another victory, 107 points. I'm actually gonna check out the leaderboards real quick. Leaderboards, Pokemon leaderboards. You guys wanna follow along with me, don't ya? So we are here, the leaderboards. Uh, my current number one position, 104 in Belgium, which is pretty nice. Let's check out Europe here real quick. We are right now at 107. And it takes forever to load. Okay. Wow, 163. This guy is nuts. This guy is crazy, man. 163. That's a lot. We are probably going to be sitting around 107. So uh, top 16 is definitely going to be a thing here. Top 16 Europe. It's pretty damn nice. Whoa. These, this guy is like way... He got a lot of... He's very good probably. 163 points. That's insane. Let's see how uh, Europe, uh, the US is going right now. Yeah, 143 seems to be like number one position. Some people can still jump over them. Yeah, I wonder uh, what the cutoff will be because right now, if we don't know, if we just check out here, Player Cup 4. Yeah, Pokemon Players Cup 4. This is the information you need right now. So the fourth installment of the Pokemon Player Cup is an online tournament taking place from April through July 2021. Players from around the world will have the opportunity to prove their, met their metal as Pokemon trainers, battle against other trainers around the world to win a share of $45,000 in prizes. And I think that's divided between three categories. Pokemon Tournament, TCG, and VGC. So, yeah, that's a lot of prizes. I don't know uh, what will be divided. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't ever miss any single daily upload, daily Pokemon TCG content. I swear you get better when seeing new deck lists, new gameplay, all that. So, uh, what do we see here? The Pokemon Trading Card Games. Four players from the Pokemon Player Cup for North American Regional Qualifier. Okay, oh yeah. So Oceania, Latin America, Europe, and North America, these are all the regions that are participating and the top four will actually play in a global finals and it's probably gonna be uh, commentated by Ross Gilbert as well as Joe Bernard, I think. I don't know if that's confirmed just yet, but also uh, the prizes. First place, $5,000 sent to your uh, account. 5,000 if you go first. I think that's... Uh, Pretty similar to like regionals, regionals. Where are the days, man, of regional tournaments? That's been quite a while. Okay, the next round is gonna start. I'm actually uh, blasting off at the speed of light here. We'll be, we'll come back to this page very shortly. Okay. So our opponent is playing. Ooh, a Rowlet coin. Don't like that. Would you like to go first? Yes, thank you. Well, this is a nice start. This is a very nice start. We have the air balloon, we have the ADP, we have the saucer. There's a lot of great things to love about this opening hand. And the Danny as well. Interesting. So air balloon here. And then this. We go for an attach of turn and then research probably. Just because on the opening turns, I really love slapping down um, a Mawile. That's what I love doing. 
Okay, nothing to see here, at least. Retreat, but well, we can actually go for that uh, play that I actually wanted to do. So let's just go for this. Getting ourselves Mawal. Mawal on turn one is utterly disgusting. Let's see, what is he playing? Zigzagoon, fire stuff, okay. Weldering. The Interrupted Sword. What round of the event? Uh, <laughs> yeah, right now, any keys left? Uh, two or some? <laughs> we have two keys. These are the last keys, Yoni. The last keys of the bunch. And uh, we have 107 reps, so we're definitely qualified. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't even try. Yo, Charizard, let's whip the welder, please. With the welder. With the welder. Quick ball, okay. Quick ball to Danny. Step down to Danny. I'll be good with that. I'll be good with that. Okay, there's the quick ball. Getting rid of that. What is he gonna do? That's his second quick ball, by the way. There's Crobat. Is this the final? No. Uh, this is not the final. This is the semi round. Semi finals. Scoop up. Jirachi's back. And this is an interesting de development because, uh, ooh, he finds the welder. Broken. That's broken. Okay. I'm getting scared of the Charizard because Charizard on itself can win this matchup. Let's hope he whips on a switch, which I highly doubt. It's probably going to be Tempo Zard or something. Tempo Zard. There's Jirachi. Pokey Gear. Found it of no welder, welder. Oh, he's stuck. He's totally stuck. If we get hammer, that's gonna be awesome. So in that regard, so many Zations down the drain. Attachment here, that's for sure. We're gonna go for Cherish Ball. I can go for another Mawel, that would be hilarious. I don't know what is in his hand though. He didn't slap down the Danny, so I'm not gonna go for that play. We need to find a hammer, right? And we need to land it successfully. Ooh. We need to land it. We still have another Zation left as well and a Crobat. So I think in this situation, the best bet. Yeah, Great Catcher is not going to work out too much here. Research? Research! Okay, no hammers. This guy will go down instantly. Unless we go for the dining right now. Which we probably will have to. And our fella's probably gonna go down. So I'm actually gonna... How many energies in there? Zero. I'm actually gonna take a metal energy. We're gonna go for the dining. Try to find like saucers. Saucers and at least one crushing hammer, please. Maybe he whips on welder too. You never know. But we need to go all out for this one. Okay, and in this situation, it's probably better to just accelerate onto this station, which potentially could still have a rusted sword. Yeah, I think so. This one, saucer, and now it's gonna come down to this one tiny little hammer, please. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna get annihilated here. We're gonna get annihilated by Charizard using its GX attack because of our hammer being ridiculously bad. Unless he whips Wilder, but I highly doubt it. We could still have it if we uh, top deck like Crobat and then draw Saucer and Met <laughs> and. Um... Okay, did I? Oof. Whiffing on Wilder, please. Whiffing on Wilder, please. You already lose use one Wilder. Maybe there's three of them priced. Whatever's the case, that's good. Because we have this fella. Giovanni. Okay, he bosses the Dedane. Totally, totally useless. Totally useless. Okay, that's perfect. That's all we wanted, to be honest. So uh, we switch a roo to this guy. We boss the Crobat. And give it a little smack. Bam. Okay, now we can. <laughs> He's super sad about that. Metal. Metal. 
of water energy. Who does got? Okay, three prize cards. What we find, what we need, energy. And that's not what we need. Swell, also not what we need. Uh, all these useless prize cards. Useless prize cards. We need to find our sword. Okay, look at that guy and go. Six energies on this chair, double blaze GX, of course, why the hell not? Okay, look at all these prize cards that this guy's getting. It's crazy. Okay, quick ball. Quick ball, get rid of ADP. Getting ourselves a good friend, Crow Bat. Swell. Before we do that, we can attach here. How do we test utilization? Let's see here. Yeah, we still have how many saucers left? Two saucers left. Okay, we attach here. We get rid of a metal energy. Scout what we have. Do we have the sword? We have the sword. And then we crowbat for six cards. If we find research, we win. Oh, or we find a sword instantly, just because, why the hell not, right? Retreat, well played. Now we cut up a Charizard. <laughs> we just need to find that sword. And uh, if we found a research or a sword, we won. And uh, yeah, this, what, this is what happened. Maximizing your chances. Okay, that's two more points. We're going into the finals. Going into the finals with two more points. Going at 109. 109. 109 is not bad, right? 109 is not bad. Okay, we lost against Urshipult there. Okay, what else happened? We won, actually lost against an Urshi pulled last time. Already we won against one. Let's see here. This is the Reshi. So, uh, Tempo Zard, I think it was. The round before that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rewatch <laughs> to actually put all my notifications down for that uh, big video. I was playing a tournament and saw your name, then I checked YouTube and sure enough, you're streaming. Of course. We're just streaming all these things so uh, we can learn from the past. Three hammers of the prize cards. We need to actually have one hammer's head for that GX move to fail, but he actually whiffed out and didn't get his Jirachi out of the active position. Okay. I apparently suck. Ah, don't say that. You know, you can always get better. Don't don't worry about it. Also, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. We're in the finals right now. Finals. Tails never fails. Yeah, there we go. Winning the coin flip. Gonna go. <laughs> there was tempos art in here. There was weird stuff. Whoa, is this what we're getting as the opening hand? <laughs> Was that your Reshizard? We sliced him up with a sword. Okay. Could be a good hand, depending on what the opponent is playing. Let's go. Crobat. Well, that's, that's an interesting hand. You have a good deck. You have a good deck. I don't know what you're up against. I don't know what we're up against. Let's see here, three water energies. Three water energies and one spinner. Hmm. Just to play it safe, we're going to be attaching one energy here and we're gonna be going for Cherish Ball. Next turn, we just need to find a water energy, right? But we have hammers. I don't wanna get rid of my hammers just yet. Let's just go for a Mawile play. Scouting time. Hammer, 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 darkness. What? <laughs> okay, I hope you top deck something because this is gonna be turning out bad. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. This is not a mirror match. This is uh, 
Oh, he finds a Pokemon. Hammer time. Yeah, I was expecting the hammer time. So we slap down the Mawa. We have uh, some stuff to work with. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy is just conceding. He doesn't have time for that, presumably. So that's two more points. And uh, we're going to be playing our last key, fellas. Last key. Okay. What in the world? Those were two more points. Okay, look at that. 111 keys left. I think it's zero right now. Keys left one. This is our last key. Okay, so we won against Tempozar. We won against uh, Eternatus VMAX. And I don't even know what the last one was, but it's okay. Five points down the drain. One more. Yeah, that was very strange. People getting smacked because of bad Tishi Joe hands. Last key. Last freaking key, fellas. And then it's over. And then the fun stops. And then we have to wait for the next phase. Dart Mudkip. Yeah, let's go first. I wonder what these fellas are playing. Gengar coin. Yo! Can you imagine? Whoa. <laughs> this guy has a more terrible hand than me, so that's nice. Let's just go for this fella. There we go. We can... He might Marnie us, he might not. Water energy, a touch of the turn, and pass. I imagine him having a Welder deck. Like, Did you see any weird deck? Yeah, we saw Waylord, <laughs> Waylord V, and we decked out against Waylord V because I was still waking up. Okay. Yeah, it's a mirror match. It's a mirror match. How long do you have to use your keys until the 26th of May? Swell. That's going pretty swell, does it? The Dene as well, okay. Energy switch down is nice. It's pretty nice. Water energy down is also pretty nice. Two Dene is down, pretty damn nice. La oh, Oricorio. Oh, look at that guy go. Salsered down. Four metal energies down the discard, though. This guy is going very, very, very aggressive. We are playing it slow and easy. <laughs> I love Pokemon. Me too. Caesar Alaya. I love Pokemon too. There's the Intrepid Sword. I think I will Marnie him. Do we Marnie or Research? Getting rid of these Salsers is a little bit painful, though. I'm actually gonna go for a Marnie. Yeah. Don't wanna get rid of my saucers here. Although finding crushing hammers is probably better, right? Ah, let's just go for it. This is the last key anyhow. We're gonna live on live by the risks. My wow. Well. Uh Eldegoss. Yeah. There we go. Eldegoss has been slapped down. And now we try to find switch. Switch saucer, energy switch, metal saucer is also an option. Okay, this is what we need. Let's go. Retreat. Altered. Creation. I'm actually gonna get rid of. How many metal energies in here though? Already a couple of them. We get rid of this. I'm getting ourselves. We can still get a grow bat. Maybe we can find a crushing hammer so we win this game on the spot. You never know. Well, saucers are here though. Saucer time. Let's freaking go. Altered creation.
Okay. Pretty interesting development. Didn't find our hammers. I can still find them later, though. <laughs> we can't see all the comments until we are in, unless we are in live chat. <laughs> we consider it unlucky. Elder creation. Oh, let's go. Okay, there's a quick ball. Okay. First of all, we go for this. Try to find a boss's orders or a great catcher and go from there. Sounds like a great plan to me. Catch over here. Let's. We could rope, but then he gives us Zation, which is bad. So, uh, yeah, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that at all. Did any time. Mm, boss or great catcher. There's the boss. What we need. I'm gonna boss the Orcorio here. There we go. Ultimate ray. <laughs> we got one energy left. One tiny energy left. What do we get from the prizes, though? Energy switch. Quick ball. And energy. Ah, lots of energies. I like it. Yeah, we had to dig really deeply to find boss, but we are able to do it. The sword. Ladies and gentlemen, the sword is here. The sword is here, but no energies onto the Zation just yet. Does he find boss himself? Crowbat. Hey, your bench looks very similar to mine, man. Boss. Boss attack. Yeah, that's how games typically go. Yeah, where are the hammers, though? <laughs> Our hammers do not seem to appear here. Alright. ADP, it's time. Who do you want? Who do you want? Let's take a Dadane. Because in a couple of uh, months, we are not able to get Gust Op any Dadanes anymore. Well played, yay! Whoa, celebration! Another point. 112. Who? game yeah cool these are the last couple of uh moments until we're done we streamed almost all of our keys which is pretty damn nice so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed us with this playthrough if you did enjoy be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of that like button it's almost game over for us where we are able to uh chillax until the next phase starts i'll be back in two seconds fellas
Whoa, the game already started. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got in PTCG. Oh, let's see here. Can we still grab some more points? Yeah, it started. Uh, oh, boss, power plants. Power plant. Don't like seeing power, power plants. We do have the amazing Zation. Oh, Eternatus. Air balloon here. Uh, yeah. Did we go for quick ball? Is it ADP already, or do we? Okay. ADP. This one. This one. A retreating. I think I don't want to retreat at this point because if he goes for uh, the power accelerator, or the ADP still has more HP left. I don't know if that's the correct play or not, but this is nice. <laughs> the triple hammer. Even if he goes for power accelerator, we're gonna get rid of all of his energies. No, I expected hammers to come along and ruin the day. When is the next phase? Uh, it still hasn't been announced. I think it's gonna be in the beginning of June. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be announced very shortly. It's gonna be after the 26th of May when all the uh, top 256 players have been announced. I have so many Pokemon cards. I also play Pokemon Sword. Crazy. He's gonna go for the power accelerator. All right. Uh, Marty, no. All of our crushing hammers down the drain instantly. What do we get? Water energy. It's not too bad. Crushing hammer. Of course, it fails. Brr, hammers. Hey, what's up everybody? We're playing the last key here. This is the last key. Tomorrow, come on. Okay, attach, Rup. retreat, slap, spinner, nothing. Go for crowbat time. Hammer! Here you go, man. Got some. Probably gonna be needing Alter creation soon. Please reply for 10 grants. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, by the way. Krishna uh, Sanghavi, doing pretty damn good. I'm also in this situation. It's gonna be Mawel time. And uh, then we try to find boss with Quick Builder Danny next turn. You can still do it right now if you want to. Nothing. He has a great hand, though. You can still do it. He's probably gonna go for research, so in that regard. Time for you to use our Dedenne already. Hooray! Maybe we can draw some more hammers out of that. Got Xwell. And Alter Creation! Okay. Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. I also, I gotta go in like five minutes. Uh, to do something very important, so... Uh, <laughs> no, no, not just yet, don't do that, Rowan. No, nothing weird has been said just yet. And I think, just because this is uh, sufficient as it is, I think we have 114 tournament rep. Okay, there's a Galarian, <laughs> sorry. Sang heavy, yeah. Okay, some stuff going around. Where can I play this game? Just go to Pokemon.com. You can see the trading card game online section or just type in Google trading card game online. Okay. I'm live streaming on the clock by now. I really need to go in like five minutes. So if we 
win this one. I think the last one I'll give like the championship points just because I have uh, a great idea so more people can get qualified. Yeah, this is not an issue for us. Let's go bossing up Corobat. Knocking out this guy. Bam. Triple energies. Going all the way to the Zation. Zation able to KO anything we want. Okay, what do we got? Switch. Energy. And oh, the Dene. Oh, the Dene dig for Gust. The Dene dig for. He needs two Eternus V Max this turn. E. Eternus V Max. Energy Spinner. Is he able to find another Eternus V Max this turn? If not, good. Good watching you play Zap. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, everybody. I will be ending the stream in about like three minutes. So whoever is on top on that other bracket, I'm going to give away the additional points. We will get second, um, presumably. So I'm already happy with that. So uh, yeah, I really got to do something very important. And we already qualified anyhow. So unless this, this opponent is able to like win out of the blue, <laughs> which would be very funny. I still want my two points here. Ta -ta. Quick ball, Elder Gods. Zigzag again. Yeah, Quick Ball, Elder Gods game. That's how it is. So this is gonna be a very quick stream. <laughs> just Zap just finished key. Time to play mine. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay, another Eternatus and the Dread Ant taking the KO. 240, perfect damage output. He's taking three prize cards. That's how quick the game goes these days. So, Zacian. Quick ball. Get rid of another Zacian. And getting ourselves Eldegoss. This is a little bit too easy, man. Yo. Well played. Well played. And. Bam! Some more points. So this is uh, very, very easy. So we stranded at 114 points. We could still win the other one, but I actually gotta go. So uh, whoever is in the final right here, maybe we can dunk him, right? Maybe we can just have some quick play before we give up. Also, be sure to check out the sponsors of today's live stream. Uh, PokedownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. And uh, you can get anything, Zation codes, Eternus codes, whatever you need. And uh, yeah, we have a great hand to start off with, to be honest. But uh, yeah, yay. What, is he, what, is he, what does he have, to be honest? Can we actually win in time, Zation? Yeah, we probably can win this in like five minutes. I, I don't think we can win it in five minutes, but I really gotta go. I really gotta go. Oh yeah, this is just ADPization against ADPization, right? Okay, so everybody, uh, have a fantastic rest uh, of your day. I wonder if you should go for the two points right now. I really wonder, oh yeah. <laughs> I am so, I'm on the clock right now. Just got to play real fast, right? Got to play real fast and just go with it. Hammer! Yo, busted. Uh, let's get rid of everything. Zation. Water energy. Saucer. Mawal. Any denies and stuff? Nope. He does have bosses orders though. He does have bosses orders. Okay. Let's see if we can make a game or just. This is a quick game, right? In four minutes, we'll be done. Okay, crushing hammers. Ooh, he's also playing hammers. You have a good deck. Quick ball. If we can get the ultra creation out first, we probably will win this game. I still get our two points. The Dane, okay. 
Yeah, we'll be very happy about it. You have a good deck. Everybody have a good deck. Energy spinner. I really gotta go. I really gotta go. This is the last of the bunch. DDP is here. Swell. Oh, he's gonna have his first Elder Creation, so uh, these fellas will need to work or we lose. Research as well. Oof, this is going very quickly. Okay, hammers. <laughs> if that hammer was successful, he would... Oh, he still doesn't have Intrepid Sword. He still uses Intrepid Sword, I would say. Uh, this one. Um... Crushing hammer again. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Cherish ball. Zane. I really need to find a metal energy and then the game will end very shortly. Ta -da! Yeah, the energy switch could also work out to be honest. Energy switch there. And then another Mawal from the memes of it. For the memes of it, memorization slap down, it's perfect. Yeah, we're just gonna go for ult creation here. It's, we can go for like Great Catcher and the research later, and Crobat as well. Or we can Quick Ball, Eldegoss, if we find an energy. Air Balloon, Switch. He's also playing Hammers, right? Two Hammers down the drain. Rusted Sword. Research. <laughs> wow, that's a saucer down the drain. Cracking hammer. Wow. Yeah, that's probably gonna be game. Unless he finds his last crushing hammer that lands successfully, it's gonna be game. We don't even need the, the metal saucers here. We just need to hang on to our energies and go <laughs> research. La looking for his last crushing hammer, too, presumably. That, oh, water, last water energy. He can ultra creation as well. Okay, so great catcher, this one, this one, uh, the, the dandy with the air balloon, thank you very much, research, water energy, energy spinner for nothing, yeah, I might as well get out some more stuff from the deck to be honest. Ultimate Rage! And then now we just use Squid Ball, Eldegoss, and it's game. Triple energy. Yeah, Eldegoss is in there. Okay, and even an additional boss. I don't know if he's playing a reset. Oh yeah, the Crobat was priced. Crazy. I didn't even know. Because I'm looking at the time, because I really need to go in like five minutes. I have to be somewhere. Just before we go, uh, I also uh, want to thank my sponsors, PotownStore.com. Be sure to check out the website if you haven't already. We're going to be giving away two more codes in regards of PotownStore.com. Go check out CardMarket.com as well. The best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get two more points. We have zero keys left. There is a boss coming on the Mawel. And uh, that's just going to be well played. And now uh, we get two more points. There we go, 116, that's pretty damn broken. Uh, yeah, stabilization, which is able to cut up anything. Let's take down an Eldegoss for now. You have a good deck. <laughs> you have a good deck, let's go. Okay, two additional points, two, 160. So uh, we have managed to get a lot of great, that's the final score. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this live stream. Uh, I really gotta go right now, I have a couple of minutes left. I want to congratulate uh, everybody that has been here for the channel and I'll see you guys in another live stream very, very shortly. Thanks again so much, guys. I'll see you guys then. Peace.